having full access at the biggest rivalry in Portugal. This is the hell of Kakao. A rivalry that divides an entire nation like any other. The two most successful teams of Portugal, where it's the north versus the south. Welcome to O Clásico. It's the year 1912 when they meet for the first time. Azuiz E. Brancos founded in the year 1983 and 11 years later Az Aguias of Benfica was founded. It became immediately evident that both clubs were completely different. It's the more laid-back, powerful and wealthier South facing the industrial and hard-working North. The capital Lisbon against the second largest city of Portugal, Porto. The Alfa Sinhas versus the Triperos. I think that pretty much sums it up. But with Benfica is the most successful club of Portugal with 38 titles and Porto second with 30. This rivalry is always intense. And somehow Porto has won the most confrontations in O Clásico. Benfica really has an arch enemy in Porto. Currently Benfica sits on the first place in the league, closely followed by Porto on the third place with only 9 points in between. It seems the Liga Portugal will be again decided based on this match. So let's go to Porto. Yes guys, touch down. And I'm in Porto. It's my first time in the city. I mean, it looks beautiful. So it's time to check it out in only one way possible. See, no, nothing. Right, and what better way than to try this out? Go right. And that was the beautiful city of Porto. Now it's time to go to O Clasico where we have full access. Let's go. <laughs> what does it mean to O Clasico? Many emotions in the air. Uh, it's a tough game always. Here in Porto, we like these games. They are very tough, but I think tonight we have our chances to win. Last year, you lost this El Clasico? Yes, we lost it here. And, but when we went to Lisbon, we won there 2-1. So... Okay. Is Benfica the favorite today? In Dragão, no, no, no. In Dragão, we, we are always the favorites. I think you, you guys need to subscribe and see what's going to happen tonight because it's going to be a hit game. Let's go for this. Let's go Port Vamos! Can we go back? This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling can hold us. These fans you hate, that you guys. is about to begin. Man, I'm excited for this one. I mean, I gotta say, this looks really special. I think that's close. Everyone with the scores. Wow. The players are at the pitch and everyone with the scores. Here we go, 
Club El Clasico! And the Benfica fans are above me. They are making some serious noise, but I can't see them. <laughs> the hate is real. What a chance, man. This thing is kicking off. Okay, trust me, they don't have the ultra atmosphere as in Eastern Europe, but the passion here is on another level, I can say that. The moment that the Pika player gets down, these fans go crazy. I can tell this goal means a lot to these fans. Like the passion inside Portugal, it's a different level. Porto's playing really well, the fans are giving their all. Finally, the referee has given a first yellow card. <laughs> and even though Benfica had their first chance, it was Porto on the counter to make it 2-0. Oh! These fans are very passionate. And that's half time. Here we go, second half. That is an incredible atmosphere. Nice 
that's impressive. The FIGA fans kicking off there. I can't see them. With respect to them, I mean 4 0 behind, and they still show support. Classical experience. Use that every code for all classical. So 